Question number two, as you point out, guys, forming this afternoon about 1,200 miles to the east of Florida, it does not appear that this will be much of a big deal because a lot of dry, stable air ahead of the system looks like it will fall apart in the next couple of days. Let me show you the latest satellite imagery. You can see Florida. It's all good for the most part in terms of uh, tropics, but we certainly have a lot of rain out there. Chris will talk about that in a second. And here it is, tropical depression number two. It's about 1,200 miles or so from these islands and continuing to move at a pretty steady clip toward the west at about 20 miles per hour. Really spun up quickly today. You can see there is a little bit of blue and orange there, but not a whole lot of convection. So at the moment, not very strong and thankfully not likely to get much stronger. At the moment, again, in the middle of the ocean, moving west at 20, winds about 35 miles per hour. And here's the uh, forecast track from the Hurricane Center. You can see as we head toward tomorrow, not much stronger in terms of the winds, only about 30, 35 miles per hour. That as we head toward Thursday, much weaker. And in fact, the Hurricane Center believes that as we head toward Thursday, the system will dissipate. Why is that? Because there is a ton of very dry, very stable air ahead of the system. Again, here it is right here. Look at all the orange. The orange is good. So as the system continues tracking west, it's very likely that it will be ripped apart. So again, no big deal.